talking about our pets. Thank you so much, you Doctor. Bet. And we want to move over to Margaret uh, Wixon, Dr. Margaret Wixon, with the Oregon Humane Society Veterinary Team. Welcome. Thank, Thank you, you for coming. So, the hot weather, of course, tough on our pets, but boy, those doggies, they like to get outside and run too, but they kind of lose their energy in this heat. What are you guys kind of seeing at the Humane Society? Well, we try to really focus on keeping them. Uh, inside in the mm -hmm. hottest part of the day and yeah. I think that that's just the key is exercise them in the morning keep, provide access to shade access to water we have kitty pools out yeah. that the dogs mm -hmm. can go play in. that's cute we have misters that they can go run around in and constant access to water that's mm -hmm. going to be important but really people I see people leave their dogs out all day in this and I think that's not a great idea but what do I know well it's not a great idea and if you have any concerns about an animal that doesn't have access to constant water and shade um, you can call the Humane Society or you can call um, call the local the shelter mm -hmm. the county shelter mm -hmm. uh, and report that because the animal could be at risk. What, okay, obviously dogs can't talk to us or cats. What is some signs that they're um, you know, in distress or in need? Well, hopefully we don't get to the point that right. they're in distress, but they might start panting heavier than normal. They may be just kind of slowing down, especially mm -hmm. if you take your dog out on a hike mm -hmm. and your dog's having a little bit more trouble going up the hill than you are. Mm -hmm. That could be a sign that something is, is wrong. You know, it, we also need to make sure that we're, we're um, the surface that they're walking That's what I was going to ask yeah, about their, their little paws. Pads. Their little paw pads can get burned. Really easily. Yes. And so if you can't hold your hand on there for more than a few seconds, then it's too Is hot it as for sensitive them. as our palms? They're a little bit thicker, but if you think about them being on it constantly with their entire, bearing all of their weight on right. their feet, uh, it, it, it can damage their paws. Oh. Now I've heard, and I don't know if it's true, that dogs and can also get sunburned. Dogs can get sunburned, okay. especially the, the the pale colored dogs that don't right. have a lot of pigment. Um, so sometimes we'll have we'll recommend you put um, sunscreen on the dog's nose really? if it's a light colored nose. Now the key is to keeping keeping the dog from licking. Yeah, off. how are you gonna do that? Yeah. yeah, and so the mineral sunscreens actually work better. You can put it on and then feed him his his lunch, so it absorbs a little bit right, better. Right, but without, it's in before he can get at it. But yeah. ideally, he just keep him out of the sun. And well, we've been talking about, about dogs, that. but what about kitty cats? You know, they seem to like to lounge in the sun, but I bet there's a limit. Well, I think if the cat has access to shade and water, the kitty They'll will generally shade. be fine. They'll find a shady spot under a tree where the ground is cool mm -hmm. to hide. So mm -hmm. we don't have the same tr problems with cats in terms of them being tied into the backyard right. or taking them on long hikes. Now, if you have to t transport your cat in a carrier, um, even in a cool car, if the cat is in a carrier and the sun is oh is my gosh, can we can we talk about that again? Can yes. we talk about not leaving your pet in the car? Yeah. Don't leave your pet in the car. Oh. It's just it's just not worth it. Not even for a minute, no, honestly, in this kind of heat. Leave them at home. I know they want to go out and they love the car, but leave the pets at home. Yeah. Right. What about making little frozen treats? I've seen oh. these kind of advertised or how I've seen them on Pinterest how you can make them. Do they love that? They love them and it actually it provides them some mental stimulation. Yeah. So you just take a bowl and fill it with water and put some treats in it so they're uh -huh. sticking up a little bit uh -huh. and as the water melts they get a different uh, treat and some of them yeah, will yeah. try to break pieces of the treat <laughs> off as it melts and so it gives That's them something to do something to look forward to during the yeah. day and it keeps them nice and that cool. would work Busy. for me yeah. too yes. <laughs> Like that. That's all right, so Dr. great. Dr. Wixon, thank you so thank much. You. Oh, great. Those are great thanks, tips. Thanks for all you do as well. Thank for you. For all of our little furry friends.